वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.42 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द पाइप विद टू रिजिट कैप्स अटैच टू इट्स एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्सियल फोर्स पी इफ द पाइप इज मेड फ्रॉम अ मटेरियल हैविंग मॉड्यूलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ई एंड पॉइजन रेशो वी रो नू डिटरमाइन द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम ऑफ मटीरियल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द पाइप द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द पाइप इज गिवन द आउटर रेडियस इज आर नॉट वाइल इनर रेडियस इज आर आई एंड दिस इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्सियल लोड ऑफ पी नाउ ड्यू टू दिस लोड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस पाइप विल इंक्रीज वाइल डायमीटर ऑफ दिस पाइप विल डिक्रीज सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम सो लेट्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द गिवन डेटा सो इन गिवन डेटा इट इज गिवन दैट लोड पी इज एक्सियल फोर्स हेयर दैट इज जनरल वैल्यूज E is equal to modulus of elasticity. While nu is equal to Poisson ratio. So what you have to find is you have to find the change in volume of material. so let's start with the solution so as we again we know that if this is the pipe clear and let me draw it clearly if this is the pipe and this is the load p so due to and this is having length l and due to this load the length of this pipe will in increase clear while diameter will reduce so this total length will be equal to delta l plus delta where delta is the longitudinal uh, ch uh, change in length in axial direction so first we will move toward finding the normal stress so normal stress is equal to stress is equal to p divided by a and here lateral strain lateral stress is equal to 0 this is longitudinal or you can also say normal stress i will write longitudinal 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 mean along the axis clear and lateral strain means on in this direction this is lateral strain so this is equal to zero while we have strain stress in this direction clear so this is longitudinal stress so we have this now due to this longitudinal uh, stress you can see that there will be change in volume because the length will increase here you can see the length is increase and diameter will decrease let diameter of this rod decreases from r not to r r is any value so we will find the change in volume so change in volume is equal to del v and that is equal to this a into del l clear del l is change in length clear so area will be remain same of this pipe clear into del plus 2 pi r l into del r now the this a into del l is linear or longitudinal change in volume while this 2 pi r l into del r will be the change in volume along lateral direction so let's move further this del volume is equal to a into we know that uh, we know that uh, uh, longitudinal strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so this del l will be equal to 
longitudinal strain into L plus 2 pi R and this del R is equal to uh, lateral strain. This del R, this del R can be represented as lateral strain into 2 pi R L. This del R is equal to lateral strain into R because we know that lateral strain is again change in radius divided by original radius so del r will be equal to lateral strain into r now uh, using piezon ratio and area using poisson ratio and area will move further ratio and area we will move further we know that area is equal to uh, area into length area into length will be equal to volume and this volume is equal to pi r square into l where a is the area of this cross section and l is the length so it will give you a l equal to volume and this volume is equal to this so we will move toward this equation and we will put all the values in order to simplify it so let's solve it further so del volume del v is equal to a into l a into l is v so it will be equal to v into longitudinal strain plus 2 pi r square into l into lateral strain so that is v into longitudinal plus this pi r square l is volume so plus two times here we have we also have nu so where is nu lateral strain is equal to nu times longitudinal so we will also change that so 2 pi r square l and lateral strain is minus nu times longitudinal strain in lateral strain we have replaced this with this term okay so v into longitudinal strain plus 2 minus it will be now minus so minus 2 pi r square l nu into longitudinal strain okay so further simplifying it v into longitudinal strain minus this 2 into 2 into nu into longitudinal strain into this uh, pi r square l will be there and that is equal to volume so it will be this again you can see you can take the volume as common so it will be equal to 1 minus uh, 1 minus 2 nu into longitudinal strain not longitudinal 1 minus 2 into nu into longitudinal strain or we can also write a del v is equal to v over v into longitudinal strain into 1 minus 2 times nu okay so this longitudinal strain again we know that this is equal to longitudinal stress over modulus of elasticity into 1 minus 2 times nu into volume and that is equal to change in volume now we also know that longitudinal stress is equal to load per unit area so from here you will get this change in volume is equal to p divided by a into e 
into 1 minus 2 times nu and this volume is equal to a into l clear so a a will cancel so we will get p into l divided by e into 1 minus 2 times nu and that will be change in volume so this is the change in volume of the material when you applied a load of p on this pipe i hope you have enjoyed this video keep practicing and you will learn them these are very easily easy problems also subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel clear and keep watching it thank you